gladiators were these incredible men and women that were thrown away. I'm a warrior for God, a lot of you know that, but there are so many unsung heroes. So the reason we have a school of the gladiator is that in the time of the gladiators, these were men and women that were also like us. Uh, some people would call you maybe an outcast or they'll tell you, well, you just don't make any sense. But God wants you to know that you make sense to him. Because you know why? Because before you were born in your mother's womb, God said, I knew you. He knew who you were called to be. And there are times you've had to be forged to have your character made into who you are today. Not only will you be able to war and bring down principality and powers and bring darkness down to its knees, he said, but you will bring light and life back onto the face of the earth. God is needing us right now to grab as many that are in darkness and bring them into the light. And here is one of the things, even if you fast one meal, a day, even if you fast for two days and you go, well, I don't fast, even if you just fast lunch and you take that half an hour and you just get away from everyone and you sit and you pray and say, Lord, I dedicate this half hour, I dedicate this fast to you, Lord. I'll tell you what, God will bring honor and he will honor your, your gift. In the next few weeks, I want to be teaching on the five levels of the angelic and the five levels of demonic and the 16 satanic strongholds. And people were like, see, sometimes we just don't understand that the enemy always parallels or tries to reflect Christ. But in the Old Testament, there are 16 major minor prophets. That's why we have the 16 demonic strongholds. Listen, a stronghold is something that keeps you bound. You can't get free in. But I decree today that the warriors are rising up on the wind and the wings of the eagle of God. And he has taken us up higher than we've ever gone before. You must step into who you are. You're a supernatural being, but most people don't even know what a supernatural being is. Some of you right now have been so separated that you don't even want to go to church. And you feel like Elijah, like you're, wa you're like literally sitting by a water brook. And you've been able to feed and you've been able to drink, which is the communion of God, the bread and the, and the precious blood of Christ. But you're still lacking. There are things within you that you're sad in your heart about. But God wants you to know at the right time, you will step up. You will step out. You will knock down the walls that have kept you bound. And it will be a stepping stone into your freedom. Some of you are just going to be catapulted into your destiny. In our sessions, you're going to learn how to stand strong in God and in the power of his might. Amen. I love Isaiah 7 because he, um, he says, if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all.